Well, hello. I've got my mane of hair here with me today, and we are going to do a kind of try-on uh, version of a video where I'm going to try a bunch of videos, nope, try a bunch of makeup on for the first time. As I've told you guys in the past, I'm not a huge fan of first impressions videos. However, I don't mind them if they're followed up maybe a month or two later with like a follow-up. So that way, you know, you guys can see how these perform now, but then after a month or two, I can let you know like, hey, after trying these for a lot longer, here are my thoughts. You know, I ended up still loving this and I didn't like the, you know, things like that. So that is kind of my goal on my channel with these kinds of videos. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about collab I don't know if it's collab or collab. Um, and the reason I say that is because they separate the, oh, let me just pull one of the products. They separate the COL from the lab. And the idea is, and this is why I'm really excited to do this. The idea is that it's a bunch of YouTubers and influencers here. Um, actually, Samage is the first YouTuber I ever watched, ever. So that's cool. Coffee Break with Danny, I freaking love. Um, who else do I watch here? I sometimes watch Lizzie and I sometimes watch um, X Barkage and the other people I, I didn't even know about yet, so I'm kind of excited to check out their channels because I'm always looking for fresh new channels. I just spit everywhere. I tell my students all the time, like, I'm so sorry, I will spit on you this year and it won't be on purpose, I promise. Anyway, why would it be on purpose? So um, they all collab to help kind of come up with these products and colors and formulas and all of those things. Um, and so they sent a bunch of them over, the brand did, and I'm excited. It's funny because I'd honestly forgotten about this launch. I had bought, I just spit again, guys. I had been excited about this launch when I first heard about it, and I added a bunch of stuff to my cart because they sell it at Sally Beauty Supply, and I never pulled the trigger and bought it, and months pass, and I keep like in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, I still want to order some stuff from Collab or Collab, whatever, um, and I never had, so then these showed up on my doorstep, I'm like, perfect. So we're going to try it out, completely non-biased, as I always am, because, I mean, the reality is, if a brand doesn't want to send me things because I'm talking negatively about a product, then um, that says a lot more about them than it does about me. So, all right. Sorry, I'm like trying to figure out what all. So I've already put on some face makeup. Like I've already got concealer, uh, BB cream powder on just because, and my brows. Just so, I, I mean, there are enough, there's nothing here to try in that realm. Um, but the first thing I do want to try, let's just start with like, the blush. So here's their blush. The packaging is really, really pretty. Um, and of course I'll have these listed and linked below. The price of their blush is $11.99 and it says they have six shades. So this shade that they sent is called Just For Fun. I like the packaging. It opens sideways, a way that you might not expect based on how the wording is. I mean, I guess if you look at it this way, then it's not sideways. Duh. <laughs> um, totally a color for my skin tone. I don't know how much they curated these depending on who they were sending them to or not, but this is totally like a blush I would have picked out for myself in any line. So it was that was very, very soft to swatch. That's like two or three times over the same spot. So if I just did it once, that's what it looks like. I mean, it's not that different. It's my kind of blush. Sometimes when I have one of those like pow kinds of blushes, it's so much and I end up looking like a clown. and. Anyway, so um, they also sent their multitasking face brush, and I'm gonna use this. It says you can use it for blush, bronzer, highlight, whatever you want. This retails for $11.99. The, it's like a matte, all of the packaging is like a matte black, kind of like NARS, which I really, really like that. Even though they get fingerprinty, I just like it. I don't know why. Um, anyway, but it says collab on the handle. It feels really nice. There's like, it's not just a cylinder. There's, it's like a geometric. Like there are like faces to it, if that makes any sense. Um, feels really soft. It does not feel super, I don't know. There's something about it that does feel cheaper, but not like in a super obvious way. I think if you've ever felt it, you might know what I mean, but it's really, really soft. It's kind of domed. So let's just see how this applies. I just tapped a bunch of it off, but then I felt like it kind of tapped all of it off. It's not my favorite shape of a brush for blush, but I could totally see myself using this brush for um, like bronzer, maybe highlight. I could even see myself using it just for face powder because I don't need a huge brush necessarily. Okay, I'm really digging the shade. This was easy to apply. I mean, you just saw it. It's, it's not too much, it's not too little. I really like this. Again, it's up my alley because it's, a, it's kind of a fuss-free formula. It's not um, anything that is 
really tricky to work with. You know, sometimes if, like I was saying, if it's too pigmented and you put it on, you're like, oh my gosh, it's like a stripe. Um, but I felt like this, the, bl the brush did a good job applying it kind of evenly. I might need to kind of even that out a bit, maybe even with some powder. But, and I'm also really digging the blush, so, so far so good. I could see myself, like I said, I, I think I probably won't keep this as a blush brush. I'll probably use it more for bronzer or even just all over face powder. So um, we're gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette. This is their Palette Pro Eyeshadow Palette in Best of the Day. And this one retails for $14.99. They have four different uh, colorways or four different palettes. So they have like, kind of on the back as I'm trying to peel the tape off, they have like little ideas for looks you could do. Um, but these colors in this particular one, this again, this is probably one I would have picked out for myself. Very warm tone, but pretty. We've got some mattes over here. Got a, light, a nice matte, just kind of blending color for my skin tone. A nice crease color, a deeper color. Really, most of these are matte. The only two shimmers are these two. So let's just swatch some of these. I'm curious. Wow. So there's this deep brown and this kind of light bronze. Oh my gosh. That was way nicer than I expected. Cause you know, when you first rub your finger, I'm like, it feels pretty nice, but that was like smoother than I expected. Let me roll these sleeves up cause I can just foresee myself getting, making a mess. So let's go ahead and swatch the rest of the colors just so we can know, you know, are the mattes as nice and as smooth and buttery as the shimmers? Yeah, I think they are. Um, so there, by the way, are the ones I just swatched. Let me swatch two more. Um, I mean, these are pretty nice. Let me get these two lighter shades. Probably should have started with that, but. Okay, so the lighter shades, they might not be, the beige might be as pigmented, it's just hard to see, but that one wasn't nearly as, but again, that's the one for me personally I'm gonna be using to blend. So I don't really mind that it's not crazy, crazy pigmented, but some people might, especially since the rest of them are a little bit more pigmented. Um, I don't know. I was trying to swatch it again. It might be just as pigmented, but so far I really like it, but let's actually put it on the eyes and see how it looks. So I'm really into this. I'm just putting it on. I've mentioned this in a few videos, the Catrice Prime and Fine Brightening Eyeshadow Base, because it's like, it is super brightening. It cancels some stuff out. It holds on to shadow. Um, and a little bit goes a long way, clearly, because that was already too much. And it's really cheap. I want to say it's like six or seven bucks, maybe even cheaper. It might even be like $4.99 at Ulta. You can order it online. Um, <laughs> sounds like I'm sponsored by them. I'm not. I just freaking love this stuff. Um, and I can't stop mentioning it. You see what I mean by it's like super brightening, um, but it's not a stark, stark white. Um, and again, I use stark white sometimes on my lid, but I don't always use it like all over because it's a little bit too much for me but I know some people do, so you might want something a little more white, but I, I'm really, really loving this. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the kind of beige color here, and I'm just gonna kind of start my look by putting this everywhere. I always start with by doing this with whatever palette I'm using. Sometimes I'll even pull in, like I have a single shadow from Wet n Wild called Brulee. Oh, it is the best. It is the best. It is literally the best beige colored eyeshadow if you're near my skin tone to just kind of set your whole thing. So that way no shadow gets stuck to little sticky parts of the primer. This gets rid of all that. So now I'm gonna go into the, um, I'm doing a classic Jessie look. I'm just letting you know, since this is the first time I'm trying this, I just wanna do a kind of an eyeshadow look I'm comfortable with because if I do something totally outside of what I usually do, that might affect my opinion on it when it comes to like well, I didn't like it, but I might be thinking that because I didn't end up liking the look I created. Does that make sense? So I want to do something I'm used to doing to see how it performs with something that I know I do all the time. So I'm grabbing that medium brown, same brush, and I'm just kind of putting it in my um, crease. And you guys know, I had someone comment on the last video. Um, I laughed and then I deleted it. <laughs> um, because it's my channel. Gosh darn it. Um, and she was like, um... I don't even, I didn't recognize your name. Like I recognize your guys' names when you comment all the time. I really do, especially over the years. Um, this is a pretty color. Anyway, she said, uh, that was the sloppiest eye look I've ever seen anyone do on YouTube ever. You need to quit. <laughs> I was like, that was so constructive. Thank you. Delete. <laughs> I'm like, 
the reality is I've never claimed to be like a um, like a makeup artist. I'm not. I'm, I'm absolutely 100% not a makeup artist. I just, you know, kind of self-taught. Just be, Really, it's more that I just like makeup. I've taken some makeup classes in the past. Nothing like huge to learn basics and like it was really more like stage makeup. But I just do everyday looks like I, I'm a normal person. So it just made me laugh. Anywho, um, okay, I want to put... Okay, I'm thinking about how these blended. I feel like it blended really nicely, a little too nicely. That's why I stopped for a second and like looked because I'm like, wait, is this like even going on? But it is. Let me get the shimmer on first. So I'm going to use the pretty kind of champagne-y shimmer. Oh. And I'm just putting it straight on the lid with my finger. Oh, it's so pretty. Gosh, this was like a good combo of just neutral, for me, neutral everyday kind of a look. It's really pretty. I might throw a little something deeper into the outer corner. Maybe we'll go with this dark brown. We're just kind of using this quad over here. I know that's so boring, but I feel like my last few looks have been really orangey here on YouTube, so I'm, I'm kind of wanting to do maybe something, I want to say cool tone, just because I'm using this like cooler brown. It's not really a cool tone look because the rest of it's not, but just kind of putting it in this outer corner. I'm, I'm impressed, you guys. I mean, this feels like I'm using any $50 palette that I own. Um, so I'm going to do my brow bone with that same shade I started with, um, that kind of beige and just kind of lightly. Sometimes I'll even take a different fluffy brush and get the beige color and just kind of do it on my inner corner to kind of blend that. Learned that from Emily Noel and I, my mind was blown. I was like, holy moly, how have I never done that? It works really well. Cause again, this beige is not nearly as pigmented. Let me show you the one wild single please. This thing is the most pigmented thing for $1.99 you've ever tried. And this, I'm actually just going to do it so you can see this, it kicks up a lot of powder, but I will use this to literally almost like set my inner corner and kind of blend it. And it just like perfects. It's like a, it's almost like a concealing powder. It's crazy. Oh my powder all over the place, but it's so good. I don't even care. I don't even care how powdery it is because it's so good at its job. It's like, it doesn't matter. That, I mean, I know that's such a like boring look, but that is the look that I like to do. But I am gonna grab a smaller brush and I'm gonna do my lower lash line with that same cool tone dark brown, just kind of mostly towards the outside and then just a little bit inward. Just kind of define that just a tinge, but nothing too crazy or fancy. I've like made a mess of this palette. Um, I'm liking it so far. Now, the next thing I wanted to try is they have two different eyeliners. Um, one is just their collab bold face liner waterproof eyelining pencil. And this one retails for $8.99. They have six shades and this is just their black. Um, unless it's like black is black. I think it's just black. Oh, it's called drama queen, but it's black. And then the other one is in a different kind of um, packaging. And this is their Killer Cole Self Sharpening Eye Pencil. They have six shades, it's $9.99. Um, and this one, like it says, it self sharpens. Um, so, I wanna use the black one to be honest with you because that is what I would use typically and that, that would be the one I would be interested in. So again, you'd have to sharpen this one, but I like to kind of tight line with it just a tinge. Ooh. Okay, it, it glides on. Like really, really well. It really is pretty easy to apply. I'm one of those people that no matter how bad it is for me, I can't not pull on my eyelid to line my eyes. Like I can't, I can't do it. And I know I'm not alone because so many of you guys have told me like, dude, me either. And then there are those few that are like, you're gonna get wrinkles. I'm like, well, I'm getting them anyway. Bring them on. <laughs> I don't know, like I've tried so, I mean, I cannot tell you how many times, but I have to pull on it just a little bit. Um, but this is a liner that I don't feel like I have to pull too much because it's so creamy. You know what I mean? Sometimes if it's not as creamy, you feel like you need to pull it more. And the reason is because you're trying to get that line on there and straight. I cannot get this even though. So that's something. I'm trying to cover, you know, a shimmer. And sometimes that tells a lot about a liner. When you're trying to cover a shimmery shadow, 
with it and you're having difficulty, there are liner pencils out there that are really good at it. So while I do think this is creamy and black, it's not the best one I've tried. I think that the um, Milani one, I will link it below, I can't think of the exact name, but it's got a gold lid and I really, really like it. It is insanely black. That might be my favorite drugstore pencil liner and it would cover the shimmer perfectly. Now this still did a pretty darn good job, but um, I just think that one's better, but this is still good. So if you had like a Sally's gift card or you already buy and stuff, maybe they have like a sale or something. I don't, I'm really, I don't shop at Sally's often and it's not really, there's no reason I don't. It's just, I feel like there aren't a lot of brands I'm super interested in there. Holy moly though. I'm trying to wipe this off with an elf makeup remover pen and it's like giving me some heck. So does anyone else follow like dog rates on social media? where the dog, like they're saying, is like, oh heck, and it's H, uh, H asterisk CK, and I think that's the cutest thing. They sell hats that say, oh heck, with the little star instead of the E on the heck, and I kind of completely want that because it's so cute, and it's just such a dog thing, like, ugh. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to finish my eyeliner really fast. I like to put on some liquid liner on top, and then I have a mascara to try, some lip products, a highlighter, Stay tuned. Okay, so I, by the way, I use the NYX Epic Ink Liquid Liner. It's my holy grail favorite. It's like $8.99. And I just kind of did a mini wing and then went over that with it. Um, so the mascara, again, the packaging feels very high quality. And that's kind of, I, I feel like most of these feel really nice. It's called the Works Wow Effect All in One Mascara. There's three shades. It's $12.99. And it says, unbelievable false eyelash effect for a dramatic volume and length. We'll see about that. Um, so let me brush through my lashes and curl them. Um, I, I always brush through my lashes and I feel like that makes such a difference for me. I mean, it, you can use any that you want and I just kind of gently push my lashes through it because I feel like, especially when you put liner on like I do, it can, it can tend to kind of clump the lashes together in a way that doesn't look nice. So that just kind of quickly separates them. And it only takes me like, you know, a millisecond. And then this is just a um, Tweezerman lash curler I have that's like really good for um, my eye shape. But I don't remember like, the, there were like two different versions. Um, anyway, so I'll curl the other one. Oh, not my favorite kind of a wand, but I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover. It's um, got really, really short bristles, very rubbery. Um, I don't always love these, but let's just see. Definitely the shade black, which is good for me. The reason I think I don't like this kind of a brush typically is because I feel like it doesn't, ugh, it's a very wet formula. Um, I just feel like it doesn't always, how do I explain it? Like it doesn't volumize the way I want it to. Although I have to say, this is doing better than ones I've used in the past. But see, now it's like really clumping. Oh. oh no, what have I done? I have to film a lot today. I hope this looks all right. So it's really black. It definitely volumizes quickly, which surprised me. But it's clumping and not in the way, like I like the Lash Paradise because it clumps, but like in a feathery way. I'm never gonna be able to explain this. But this clumps like in a plasticky, like you're lit, you have like five lashes total. It's like if you watch Rugrats, Angelica's doll, Cynthia, how her hair is like in like three clumps. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of Cynthia the doll. That's what I feel like my lashes look like. <laughs> it's, oh crap, and it's so wet, it's ruining my eyeshadow look above. <laughs> I'm hating this, you guys. I haven't felt this strongly about a mascara in a while. It's instantly like shortened these lashes here. I can't get like any length and it's just like clumping them. But again, not in a flat. I wish you guys could see it in person because it's so hard to get across. There's literally like one, two, three, four, five, six lashes over there. And I like more of a fanned out, like I said, feathery look. I know some people like this. So if you know you like this style, then this might be your cup of tea. I don't think, you know, from afar, <sighs> stop piling it on, Jessica. Um, I don't think from afar that it looks so bad. But for me, knowing what I like and knowing that there's other stuff out there for cheaper, because this is still... What did it say? $12.99. I mean, it's still kind of a pricey mascara. Um, it's, it's volumizing and clumpy, but it's clumpy right away. So you need to decide, you know, do you like that style or not? If you do, then you might actually really like it. Um, 
because like you can even see, I mean, it, it, it doesn't look bad. I hope I'm making sense. That's not one that I'm going to repurchase again. I'll tell you that. Well, I didn't buy it the first time, but you know what I mean? All right. So they also sent this highlighting liquid and then we'll do some of their lip products. It's called the filter highlighting liquid and it's in the shade Pearlosity. Um, I'm just going to put some on my hand first. It's a pump. It's a, that was a nice glass bottle. Um, I like to, with stuff like this, you could put it on underneath all of your foundation. I like to just kind of tap it in the area I want. It's better with the beauty blender, but to be quite frank, all of mine are dirty. I'm just going to kind of use my, oh no, this is sloppy. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. So it really doesn't add anything. You see how it just like went away. It's just gone. Let me blend. I could see, okay, so like that's it blended. It really is almost gone. There's a very, very slight thing. So I think this would work better and maybe it's intended this way. It just doesn't say on there. It would work better all over your face underneath the foundation, not as an actual highlight. Cause this is not, I mean, you can see a tiny bit, but not, it's hardly enough for me, even for a subtle look, you know what I mean? So I'm going to put a different highlighter on, um, but I'll have to, again, when I update you on these things, I'll have to let you know, like once I tried the other way, how it looks. If you are curious, I'm putting on the Laura Mercier, uh, matte radiance baked powder and highlight 01. Ooh, that was more than I intended, but that's okay. First of all, this is a lip pigment. It's their glitter and glow lip pigment and top it off. And this is 1099 has three shades. It is truly like a pigment. There's no like little stopper or anything. So it's a shimmery, let me see if I can like truly. The, okay, there's full on glitter in it. It's a beautiful shade, but boy, that is glitter on your lips. So it's literally a powder. You could put it on top of lipstick. Um, you could probably wear it alone. I don't know how, I'm not a big fan if you can't tell of this kind of a thing. I think the idea is cool, but after about 30 minutes, it's like. Um, so let me put it on my lips to show you and then I'm probably gonna wipe it off. I had Vaseline on my lips. I'm going to wipe that off. Um, so I'm having to like literally. Now this is going to be best applied like over like something like, especially in the center of your bottom lip. I mean, this is sloppy. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. I know it's sloppy. I don't feel like doing the whole thing because it, it, I don't like the feel of like it rubbing together my lips. Ugh. It's grossing me out. I gotta wipe it off. So that's my own problem. I don't like that. Like I, I physically don't like that. So the other two products are much more my speed. Um, one of them is the Matte Addiction Liquid Lip Color. It's $9.99. There are 10 shades. By the way, the pigment, I don't know if I said, that has three shades. Um, so it says insane color payoff in a single swipe ultra matte finish for a second skin feeling. Whoa. That's nice and like, wow, that is very thin, but it is a lot of color. So, and how much did I say this was? 10 bucks. It's not bad. It feels a lot like the Kat Von D one where it really is like a second skin. So again, I'm going to put it on, but I'm probably going to wipe it off. Maybe I will wear this today. Let me show you the other one, put it on, wipe it off. And then I might put this on to like stay for at least another video. Um, so this is their full body lipstick. There's 16 shades. Um, again, they have that matte black packaging for all of these. And it says eight of them are matte, eight, is, eight of them are satin, $10.99. This one is Yes Ma'am. It doesn't say if it's satin or matte. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, satin for sure. Very pretty pink color. Ah, oh, it's just so comfortable. Very standard lipstick, not a thick formula by any means. You might want to line it just because... Well, I guess it depends on the color. I mean, this looks all right, but I think it would just look cleaner with a lip liner. Um, and I'm not sure if they sell lip liners or not, but regardless, I mean, this would be an easy shade to match, but it feels comfortable, kind of moisturizing, but not like it's going to rub off. I mean, obviously there's going to be transfer, but not like crazy. So I like the formula. I'd be interested to try more shades. Now let me put on the liquid lip one. <laughs> hmm. Pretty red. <laughs> so definitely a thinner formula. I mean, it's a nice liquid lipstick. I would assume it's going to dry down and kind of create that line in the middle of your mouth because if you think about it, any liquid lipstick is going to do that over time because 
where your gums are, it's wet with saliva and you know, for something to dry there makes no sense. So um, it's going to create that line, I can already tell you, but again, I can update you in that video. But it's almost sticky, but not like in a transfer way. Let me see. Still a little bit of transfer. I mean, I just put it on, it's probably still drying. But for the most part, it's dry. I like the shade, did I even mention it? The shade is Blood Rush. <laughs> Perfect, I feel like it's appropriate with this thing. Obviously, I'm not wearing this. This is just to hold my hair back. Um, so, I feel ready to film some other videos. I might, for some other videos, pop some lashes on and bronzer, I didn't put that on. But, I mean, this is still a pretty glam-ish look. It's like neutral glam. The second you add red lips, it's like way more glamorous than you intended, you know? But um, it doesn't feel bad. You guys know a lot of us are moving away from liquid lips because they're just so drying. They're not super comfortable. I don't mind reapplying lip products throughout the day. Um, and the idea behind a liquid lipstick is that you don't have to, but they're just so uncomfortable. And then you start like wondering like, how is it looking? Is it looking weird and crusty? You know, and I don't, it's just not worth that like mental strain. <laughs> Um, I, need, I feel like I should put some gold hoops on. So anyway, I'm going to film some other videos, but I hope that you enjoyed this style of video. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up, and I hope you'll subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.